the government keeps sending me all these messages about, you know, tuition and college forgiveness. How about child support? How about taxes? Huh? How about those forgivenesses? Hmm? So I had made a post on TikTok that kind of got a, I'm not going to say it got, uh, it got a lot of good, um, I got a, it's got a, let me see. So I made a post on TikTok, you know, about black men in. So I made a post on TikTok talking about what the black men want from Kamala Harris. And it actually was received very well, but there was, you know, a select specific type of black men that I kind of got pushed back for because I did mention in the video, it wasn't all black men. It's just, you know, a, min a minority of black men that seemed to be really loud on social media. And, you know, there was a lot of large um, content creators who were black women saying they were going to walk away from black men because it seems like they just don't like black women in general and they don't like Kamala Harris one because she's black even she's black but people say she's not black and then you know they go through this whole you know her family tree about trying to prove how she's not black and all of this so I'm not even trying to even get into into that into that talking point but you know the post I made was just basically saying to black men like what do you actually want from Kamala Harris because I see again, black men, but not all black men get on social media and complain about they don't have any social economic mobility, you know, and then she literally comes out with a plan for black men, basically saying, you know, she wants to provide the tools, you know, for black men to build wealth, support their, build wealth, support their families and lead their communities, which I think is an awesome thing for black men who say they're struggling and they don't have you know, the, the, the money for, to, the money to start businesses, the money to go to college, you know, they don't have money to raise their families. They don't have money to buy a home. You know, even if they do have a job, the job is low paying. It's like, there's a lot of, there's just a lot of complaints. And then my thing was, is if you actually have a, a VP who's running to be the president puts forth an actual plan solely for black men, I think that would be something that you could, you can get behind. You know, we, we, we said Barack Obama didn't do anything for black people. Well, basically no president has done anything for black people in general, just solely for black people. But then you have Kamala Harris, because I, I mess up her name so much, but Kamala Harris um, putting something forth for black men in general, you know, providing like, like it says here, providing 1 million in loans that are fully forgivable to black entrepreneurs and others to start a business, championing education, training and mentorship programs to help black men get good paying jobs and in, in high demand industries and lead their communities, including pathways to become teachers, support a regulatory framework for cryptocurrency and other digital assets. So black men who invest in, in and own assets are protected, launching a national health equity initiative focused on black men that addresses sickle cell disease, diabetes, mental health, prostate cancer, and other health challenges that disproportionately affect them, and legalizing recreational marijuana and creating opportunities for black Americans to succeed in that industry. Now, to me, all of that sounds good. So I, I, I could get behind something for black men behind this. So I would vote for Kamala Harris for black men if she can get the majority in the House of Representatives and the Senate to be able to pass this. I would vote for her for black men. So even so I I just don't understand how, you know, there's so much backlash, but but then I'm gonna say how finicky some black men are. People were asking, they asked on Twitter. <laughs> and I can't even believe this is a real thing. But they asked on Twitter, you know, a, 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 a creator by the name of Simone Bees basically asked, what kind of policy do black men want to specific want to see specifically for them? And then this one dude, well, I guess it's a count saying Faithful Black Men Association. It may sound a string, but consider a federal mandate for DNA testing of newborns. 
with fraternity fraud at 30%. Fraternity fraud is not 30%. Last time I checked, it was around one to three percent. And it, and then when even when I looked for this 30% percentage. I couldn't find like really any studies on it. So I might have to dig a little deeper, but from what I've read, it's only one to 3% and it poses a significant threat to generational wealth. I will say this though, most pretty much accepted, you know, the 10, 5%, 1% the population of the world is, is making generational wealth. The rest of us is not making generational wealth. And if you are only making $40,000 a year, you're not accruing or you're not creating generational wealth to begin with. And you need the opportunity to move up economically to, to build generational wealth. But the average person isn't building generational wealth and child support isn't stopping you from getting generational wealth. If I'm not mistaken, the average woman, let me see, I think the average woman doesn't even doesn't even make, doesn't even get $400 in child support. I'm not sure. Don't quote me on that. Um, oops, what amount in child support? Let me see. Yeah, so just from this, just from this, it just says the median amount is four thousand two hundred and fifty a year, or three hundred and fifty three hundred fifty four dollars per month. Eighteen percent of the fathers pay more than nine thousand dollars a year, or seven hundred and fifty a month. So you know, on average, you you know, you're not even you're not even getting more than five hundred dollars a month, but you know, we could probably dig a little deeper in that. You know, probably each state is probably different, but just per you know just the median is three hundred fifty dollars per month so you that's not in in my estimation it's not gonna stop you from build generational wealth if you if you're not in the top 10 15 top 10 or five percent or one percent of the population who's making you know over a hundred thousand dollars a year and even then if you're not planning your money right you're not going to have generational wealth but you got to be making millions to build that and generational wealth to me is Jeff Bezos type money, you know, money like that, 100 million, 200 million, 300 million dollars, 500 million dollars, like that, that to me is generational wealth. And the average person is not even seeing that type of money. But back to the Faithful Black Men Association, like out of all things that you can talk about is I, I can understand mandatory DNA testing. I can understand that. But the but paternity fraud isn't that high. I can understand that some men may feel, or if you don't know, you know, this would just cut out all of the, uh, dang, my light went off. This would just cut out all of the, um, the confusion or taking care of a kid that's not yours. But out of all things that you can ask for, you know, and on top of that, just like this person says, like that, the paternity, the paternity test is only a hundred dollars. So that's not even, I mean, I mean, how, I, how are you going to pay for it? One, cause the majority of the people in probably United States probably don't even have health insurance. So if it was put in health insurance or health insurance paid for it, you got to pay for health insurance and health insurance is expensive in the United States. So who, who's going to pay for it? And then, but then again, this is just only a hundred dollars, but I was, I was going through this earlier and I'm trying to find the comment, you know, you know, people are saying, isn't this, you know, isn't this embarrassing and things like that? Cause to me, it's embarrassing, but Dr. Roberts, one of the, Dr. Roberts said, so you want black men to be surveilled and medical data collected because you believe black women trap men. So when this happens, what do you do after? The policy will create a pathway for mandatory child support. And I think what's going to end up happening is, yes, you will have the mandatory DNA testing, one. You find out you are the father and then child support will start right then and there on that date. Especially if you're a non-custodial parent. If you're a non-custodial parent, you're 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 gonna have issues, you know. So then you're gonna have to go to court, establish paternity, establish your rights, things like that. So you know, I think I think just talking about you know mandatory DNA test, you know, I don't think that should be a policy for you guys, you know. And I think you should think 
about bigger things. Black men should think about a bigger picture. But I don't know if the comment got deleted, but a guy put out a list, you know, and I can't find it right now. But there was a list of other policies that you can think of outside of mandatory DNA testing. And on top of that, now I'm seeing videos of men talking about child support forgiveness. Now, I, I've never heard of that. I, I didn't know, you know, it's, that, that's crazy to me, just talking about child child support forgiveness. Because he was like, if you're talking about, you know, student loan forgiveness, then you should you should talk about, you know, child support forgiveness. And I got a video of that, and I'm going to show you that because I've... That's wild to me. If you have kids, you are financially responsible. There's no out of that, period, point blank. There's no out of that. Uh, let me see, because I saw one. I really want that post where that guy lists other uh, policies that you can think about that would help, you know, black men in general. But let me go to, let me show you this video when this dude, I, I can't tell if he's joking or not. This is something I can't tell, but let me play this. The government keeps sending me all these messages about, you know, tuition and college forgiveness. How about child support? How about taxes? Huh? How about those forgivenesses? Mm -hmm. <laughs> the government keeps sending me all these, the government keeps. The thing, the reason why I, <laughs> He's asking for child support forgiveness and child support debt, but then he got a baby laughing in the background. So I, 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 I don't know if this is serious, but I saw even if you go on Twitter and you and I type in child support, uh, if you even type in child support forgiveness, people are like it's in it's really embarrassing cuz like i say even even a lot of people are saying you you barely not even paying a $132 a month but asking a presidential candidate for child child support forgiveness they can go straight to hell <laughs> so people are getting cooked for 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 black men asking for child support forgiveness and that's to to be honest with you that's some of the most deadbeat ass shit i've ever heard in my life like if you have kids you got to pay that child support it's it's Especially if you're not married and it's a, you can't get away without taking care of the kids that you have. Like, you know, and that's, it's detrimental to our community. But just reading some of the con, some of the comments, <laughs> ends really asking for child support forgiveness. <laughs> like, like, and this makes, and it makes, I'm not saying it's all black men, but it makes us black men as a whole look really bad that black men who are the minority who are extremely loud on social media, this is what we see. And they're just asking for, you know, child support that it just doesn't make sense to me. Like, I think it's, it's asinine, you know, and, and then when I get on here and then I see, you know, black women saying they're decentering themselves from black men, they're leaving black men behind. They won't be protesting for black men. And that's another thing. When everybody, there's, you know, it's a, it's a, a small sector of black men that want to support Donald Trump. But one of the things that I say that will, it, I won't vote for Donald Trump just in fact because I don't think he's qualified. But um, after Sonya Massey, her life was taken on TV and they showed it all on TV. You know, Donald Trump comes out and says he wants to give police officers full immunity. And that 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 is a deal breaker for me because we know as black men we'll become a target for that. And you know, black women saying they're not going to protest, you know, for us. And there's a video that I wanted to show you guys about. I know you, I know you remember it was 2020. Ahmad Aubrey life was taken because of three white men, you know, profiled him, took his life, you know, and we know that they have been sentenced and they're in prison now. But then if we go to just recently, another incident just happened like this when another a, a black teenager was walking through a neighborhood and then he was harassed by three men. They were following him in the car and then one of them pulls up on him, hops out the car, goes to the passenger side and grabs a firearm. And then one of the, one of the guys out there is like, Steve, Steve, no, no. And I'm going to play that video for you right now. The neighborhood creepers. <laughs> the neighborhood creepers. 
So, like, situations like this, walking while black in neighborhoods and getting harassed by, you know, I'm not saying it's all people, but white men, you know what I'm saying? Like, and we already know nothing's going to happen to these guys. Nothing's going to happen at all, you know, but I can show you a little bit of pretty much watch, the whole thing. You know, like, they you follow them the for a while. You better watch yourself. <laughs> I don't even want to like, I can't even be comfortable because look at this shit. Then y'all like, y'all coming up the, rock, the block, the walk, the block way for people. They trying to walk and shit with their kids. These people out here following me and shit. This, this ain't weird. This ain't, look at the neighborhood creepers. <laughs> the neighborhood creepers. Like to be followed through a neighborhood and then have a firearm allegedly pulled on you because you're just walking through the neighborhood and you're not answering to white white men telling asking you you know why you belong here you don't belong here where you live i think you know this is this is just disaster waiting to happen you know but at the end of the day it's just so much it's just so much going on and i think i think politics brings out the worst in people and it just brings out the worst in both sides i'm not saying democrats or republicans aren't you know there's there's fringes there's fringe sides to each of them you know radical sides fringe sides there's each to eat to 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 both sides but you know this and but this happens in florida so i mean florida's florida's a they're not excuse me florida's an odd place the, the weirdest stuff the craziest stuff happens always in florida anytime you see a video like this it's probably florida but you know so i i I really want to know, you know, what do, what do black men actually want policy wise? What, like, what do you guys want policy wise? And even, but even, even the mandatory thing isn't, isn't just for black men. It's also for white men because there are white men who feel, you know, that they may not know who they're uh the they may not know if they're the father of that child so that 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 wouldn't even be a policy solely for for black men so you know what i i what would you want as a black man what do you want in policies it doesn't matter if it's from donald trump or it doesn't want it doesn't matter if it's from uh kamala harris what do you want i got think i got her name right that time they was eating me up in the comments of that post that i said what the black man want what do black men want from um Kamala Harris? I'll put that I'll put that link in the in the in the description of my TikTok video. Um but yeah, you know, let me know what you guys want in the comments. Like I say, I'm not going to try to be on here long, but I'm going to try to continue to post uh, more and more. Like I say, I'm on TikTok more because that's that's where that's where uh my uh the majority of my my content the majority of my content lives is on TikTok simply because I have a bigger following on TikTok. So, you know, like, go to my TikTok, follow me. You know, I'm also doing a show called uh, The Party Line where, you know, people call in anonymously and they, you know, tell their deepest, darkest secrets of their confessions. I already posted one of those. So you can go to that playlist and uh, look at that playlist. I only put one video up. I only do that once a week. Sometimes I do it on my Discord. Um, I don't really go live on 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 any of the platforms. But uh, if the if the party line starts to do good, I'll start going live, and then you know I'll have people you know can call in things like that as an actual live radio show. But uh, like I say, like, subscribe, and comment, and um, on to the next one.